Hi, I'm Ron Polk, and we continue on with designing the awesome rolling toolbox. I'm at the point where I am massing up. The first thing I want to do is update my nomenclature. It was pointed out to me in the comments that my building up of these uh, low detail, easy design blocks to design my space in the 3D design industry is called blocking. So I've gone into my layers panel and I've renamed that layer from massing to blocking. All right, so I am at a point where I have uh, continued with hanging on to my future uh, futurization of being able to um, add uh, another total station, a longer one for framing, and also if I replace my park workbench, making them 10 inches deep instead of eight. So that adds uh, two inches each or four inches. So I've at this point I've separated them um, and uh, continue to hold on to them. I am at a point where I am going to go in a different direction with the design but again with blocking uh, this is easy to continue. Um, the only way this is going to be an awesome rolling toolbox is if I really detail it right and get it very functional. Now it may look like I've done a bunch of detailing but I really haven't. These cabinets that you see here are uh, they're imported from the mobile wood shop that I downloaded and I've just moved them into place and using them uh, to instead of blocking up they they do have a little bit of detail they won't be the final version I'll be doing the detailing later I do have a few parts that I know work like these two eight foot drawers um, I have specific tools that fit in those and I'm going to continue with those when I'm using these cabinets and I don't want to spend a lot of time adjusting them or resizing them or drawing the drawers. So what I've been able to do is um, just scale them for my current needs so that I can go up and down, in and out. You can see here, this is the cabinet that I brought in and copied uh, in, this, in this location here. But if I bring over the original cabinet, I hit the M key for move and I'll just grab right on this corner here and I'm going to nest it right up to that one. So you can see the the space that I have at least currently is deeper and taller. So all I have to do is click so it's highlighted and I am going to hit the S key for scale and you can see these blocks all around. I can scale it in all kinds of ways. So I'm going to just grab this one right on the front here. You can see it highlights the front and back and I'm going to just drag it out. Now, it's only going to go in the in or out direction. It won't go right and left because of the block I grabbed. All I have to do is come up. I know I want to flush it up with that cabinet and just touch that edge, and there it is. Now I'm going to do the same thing here, up and down, and I'm going to touch right where I, at the top of that other cabinet, somewhere in there. And that quick, I can scale it hit the O key to orbit, that it fits this situation. Now that stretches the drawers and things, but again, this isn't my detailed finished cabinet. This is just a part of my blocking and it's helping me test out the spaces. And you can see here in this case, it doesn't fit in the trailer. So if I did want to scale that one in, select it, scale, and then I can push this back and touch right on that corner. Or I can go in even further if I want to give a little more room. So that's a uh, using the scale tool will really help if you want to just sort of test sizes and again I made a copy of these so these can be deleted and I still have the original and one other thing we used last time but uh, it'll reveal um, uh, some of the issues you could run into I took the longer saw horses that are custom made for the Polk workbench and I put them end to end inside of the garage that allowed me to put these taller but narrower sawhorses in a box so that I could make the box a little shallower. Well, as I got busy, I if I click on the x-ray tool, you can see that I left the box as deep as I needed it to house those longer horses. So there's a bunch of space that I'm wasting right now. So I can fix that quickly. I'll just grab my tape measure tool. Uh, type in 30.75 and now I can go into this select that face push pull and just snap right to that line and 
that quick, you could see how much space I was wasting there. And then as I uh, turned back on the x-ray tool, you can see here there's a space in here that is quite large and I might want to be able to use that. I may build a cabinet in there that comes out to the face. We'll see. That's, uh, that's the point of this blocking and testing things out. And one more thing, if I, I did model up the trailer accurately, so if I want to see how things are working out, I turn on the walls and you can see that because I accounted for the spring here that lifts up the ramp door, even though the sawhorse box fits inside of where the opening is, this uh, spring will interfere with um, getting these horses out. I have to consider that. So that's the advantage of modeling up your space accurately and continuing to look at it from all angles. Don't get stuck going down a certain path. Be willing to back up. So I've got a di different direction I need to head and we'll pop back in next time and see what, uh, what I come up with next. And don't forget, if you find these videos helpful, please share them with others and also remember to subscribe. Thanks for taking the time to watch.